Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is episode 9. Last time we uh, found a dancing spirit and healed him in order to obtain uh, a very creepy looking mask and we taught the Rosa sisters how to do a dance. Uh, after that we found our way to the the Romani Ranch uh, by means of Powder Keg, and then we were able to help Romani fend off some ghostly alien abductors. Uh, we managed to do that uh, successfully. Uh, we now find ourselves on the dawn of the second day, because uh, we ended last episode uh, right at the end. And uh, I guess I would like to see where our characters are here, uh, because... Romani leaves at 2 a.m. and then we fend off the the ghosts and then we don't know where uh, Kremia is either but I guess because it's uh, a new day now what a beautiful shot <laughs> beautiful shot of an angry moon because it's a new day Kremia might be out in the field or she'll be in here oh there they go look they're together because they're there's cows they didn't get taken, so they're both in here. Oh my, hello. Romani's going to take our milk to Clock Town too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about six o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. Oh, nice. Okay, um... Let me just get out those Majora's Mask notes and let me write that down. So uh, we'll have a have a 6 p.m. ride. 6 p.m. ride to town at the ranch. And I guess um, that would be a great idea for us to do because that should take us to the milk bar. We'll be able to sort out the delivery and then maybe we get membership for helping out the distri distribution of the milk. We'll see. So, 6 o'clock this evening. Romani wants to go too, but you can't. Okay, so I guess that is what is going on uh, here. So, 6 p.m., that's the ride into town. Very nice. And there's something to be done with Gorman um, in both evenings. Same with, with Toto. And I think the thing that's, that's interesting as well is uh, just because there's two things on there doesn't mean that, you know, there's two separate things. It's the same thing, you just get two opportunities, similar to like how the Rosa Sisters here has two opportunities to get uh, the dance taught to them. So a lot of these characters that we see that have sort of the same thing, that's just multiple opportunities. So we'd be able to go and race with the Gorman brothers now, uh, and I'm going to do it, and we're going to win, but there's something on day two at 6 p.m., which is very interesting too. So uh, I'm not sure what that is gonna be, but we shall have to find out. Uh, so first things first, I think we'll leave the ranch and uh, we'll go and race these brothers. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. All right, here we go. We're we're going. We'll get something nice if we win the race. All right, let's win. No, I'm supposed to be staying in front of you. Oh, I didn't realize that that would slow me down. No, I think that counts as a win. I think I won. Pretty sure I won. 
Yes, I can't believe we lost! Big bro, I wonder if we can give that to this guy. We gotta give him something, but he's a kid, so what can he do with it? Should be fine. Oh, Jesus Christ, that looks criminal. You got the Garrow's Mask. The wandering ninja spirits who appear at Ikana once wore this. Jesus. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. You rubbed the Gorman Brothers' noses in it. Okay. What does this do, though? We're like, are we stealthy as hell being a ninja? Garrow's Mask. It can summon the hidden Garrow ninjas? I'm sorry? Um, how does it work? Race against us again? Uh, no. They said they'll give us something nice, they assume they'll just give us, like, rupees in its place or something. Um, what an interesting little mask. Okay, so... This mask can summon the hidden Gary Ninjas. Maybe this is just something we haven't encountered yet, like we have to go and find... We have to go to this Ikana place, and then we can, by wearing it, we can summon ninjas. I suppose. Um, curious. Uh, we have gotten a mask. That's something we can tick off our to-do list in the notebook. Uh, however, at 6pm, there'll be something else here at the same time that we get a ride from Kremia. Very interesting. We're on day two, which means we're going to go back to Clock Town and we're going to see what happens with Anju's grandmother because she's like, I'm going to do something tomorrow with that food. Uh, so we're going to find out uh, what can happen with that food. So we'll song of soaring ourselves back to Clock Town. I don't feel safe leaving a Pona with the Gorman Brothers, but it's just a video game. <laughs> and I'll immediately leave town, summon a Pona, and then go back in. <laughs> ah, here's the rainfall. Alright, so... If we're a uh, Goron Link... And we're, uh, we're big enough to just literally run out of town without getting stopped, which is hilarious. Um, and uh, so this is very important. I must summon Epona to me. Just to make sure that she's uh, not hanging out with the Gorman brothers, all right? Because that would be criminal. And now Epona can stay there. We'll go back into town. <laughs> And uh, now I want to go check in with uh, Grandmama, and we're going to see what happens here. Now, uh, we don't have the room key, so we have to wait for this place to actually be open. Or do we? Or do we? Let's go the wrong way on the menu. This is not exactly how I wanted to do it, but, yep, it's fine. I'm in. So, I guess these, uh, they're not stressing anymore about the dance, right? Uh, actually, that might have been on, the, we might have, ref we've refreshed, didn't we? So they're stressing about the dance. I'd have to teach them to dance again. Oh, hang on. Oh! I don't know. Gorman's sleeping in here at night. Hmm, Ange will be leaving right away. Oh, if you come in here too early, Gorman is in here. That's really funny. Love that. Get me that bug. If it's possible to complete every single character's side quest in one loop. Like if you know exactly what to do at exactly the right time with enough like slowdown of time that you can complete everyone in one loop. 
Maybe. Granny's diary. We're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Gampy's favorite books. Oh, interesting. Okay. So day three, they're going to take refuge at the ranch. Um, I wonder if all the... Are all the cows... Like, can we do anything with that? I can't shoot my bow in here. I'm wondering if, um... Mm, what if we play a Pona's song? Look for the cows. What happens if we play it near a cow? Nothing happens for the cows. Okay. Doesn't shoot out a bottle of milk for me. <laughs> Whoa! Who the hell is this? Who, are, who the hell are you? I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. Who the f who's this? What the hell? I've never seen this NBC before yet. So, would this be Anju's mother then? Because there's Anju's grandmother. We've just never seen... And then Tortoise is the, the father, I think, because that's Anju's son. Interesting. Um, we're at episode 9 and we're seeing new NPCs still, like with the Goron Link and with uh, this woman. Because I guess we just haven't been inside the inn at this time. Uh, so I was waiting for Anju to be taking food to her to see what would happen. There's something that happens with the grandma at this point. I guess it must just be listening to the stories then. Okay. Um, and there are two other NPCs that we've yet to find. And then there's something that can be done with the mayor on three separate days. And I still am not sure about that either. I don't even have a, like, all I've got with the mayor is there's got the people bickering in the office, right? just bickering in the office and I'm not sure how to put myself into that situation. I also have zero idea how we're going to be putting this mask to use yet. Um, I don't know how to... I guess we can, you know, blow things up with it, of course, but we're going to have to figure out uses for these masks. We could potentially just try and push into another direction and complete some main quest stuff, new temple, maybe get us some new masks that might help us in uh, putting some pieces together. We'll just, we'll have to see about that as well. Maybe we can play some games while we wait for some things to open. What about that? Uh, is the treasure chest room open? Can I give it another go? Do you reckon it changes every day? Or do you reckon it will be the same? Because we attempted it twice and it seemed to be the same. <laughs> because I wanted to try the left side. God, 20 rupees. You are... You drive a hard bargain, miss. Do I really want to do this again? Okay. Um, now, again, I don't know if it's a set path. We did try it two rounds in a row and it was the same, but it might change depending on the day. I wanted to take the left path this time and see if this would be correct, but it just appears that I'm getting screwed. Oh, I just got screwed. So I tried to take the left path and it fucked me. Wow. 
Okay. Um, this might be... I think this is different. Unless I'm also just going crazy. Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh, dude, no! We... we... No! Oh! Okay. Dude, this is this thing is crazy. All right, we we finally have a, a set route though. Um, but I need to I need to get more money. All right, I'm doing it this time. If we start on the right hand side, we'll have those precious seconds. Um, let's head to the bank. I'm getting whatever's in here. All right, let's try this again. The treasure chest is in a different position. Do they change the... Do they change the position... Every time, which would in turn then change the map? Just when you think that you can get it, they, they fuck you over. God damn it. Alright. New plan. New plan, baby. Can I chuck this on? I can. Okay. Oh, well I guess I've... Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's already over, isn't it? It's already over. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I just feel... I feel so royally screwed. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay. Oh! <gasps> no! I made it, but I ran too fast. <laughs> I made it, but I ran too fast. How did I? No! <laughs> oh, but it's gonna change now if I do it again, because it'll put the it'll put the chest in a new spot. Or does it only change? Oh, that's so cute. I want to eat it. Does it only change if I leave the room and come back? Like, what if I do this again? With for another twenty rupees, why not waste more money? I've already wasted enough. It's in the same spot. It's in the same spot. All right, we've got a chance this time. I think if you you don't leave, it must be if you don't leave. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit, wait, was it this way? No. Okay, wait, this, no, this doesn't feel the same. It's in the same spot, but this doesn't feel the same. Oh. What the fuck? I can't win. I can't win! Even when it, they put the chest in the same spot. Can't win at this stupid game. I'm like, it's in the same spot. Let's go. Yeah. No. And I'm probably never going to try again. I, I will never try again. I am. I've sworn myself off of this stupid game. I come here for fun. And you swindle me, lady! Never again! I'm done. I've wasted too many rupees on that game. I am a, I am now a reformed, uh, no longer treasure chest gambling addict. I'm a changed man. I'm curious to finally get to Cafe's final things here, but I know that there's that specific moment where he'll go after the person that steals the bomb bag because it's said that he has also stolen Cafe's mask and we've failed to sort of look at where he goes when he runs out of here because he enters from this side 
if those are buildings, I want to say he could be running off in that direction. But we got distracted by a dancing spirit last time. I just want to see if we can, like, even just find him, for God's sake. Um, surely he's got to enter Clock Town at a very specific time as well. So I, I guess that's another thing to watch out for is he's not, he's not in that spot at, uh, at the beginning. He, he has to end up there in the same way that he leaves there. Um, and maybe we should try and... Maybe we should try and go this way. I'm gonna pick this direction. Ooh, I have a bug that I can put in here. But I don't have water. Which is, uh, unfortunately... Oh god. Which is unfortunately my issue. It's not watering out here. It looks like there's rupees and stuff that I can get. go on a journey for some fresh water. Why does it rain in the town but not in Termina Field itself, I wonder? That's something I find pretty peculiar. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go get some water. I'll go... Oh, but then I've got to go get beans as well because I don't have beans anymore. No, this is just a whole thing, isn't it? It's just a whole thing. What if we just left? Looks like there's rupees and pots and stuff. We'll just leave that alone. Let's go this way. Oh my god. Oh, it's going up there. Oh, it's going down there. God, what if you... Okay. Just blow up already. We got a boulder in the way. I can deal with that. Oh. Oh. I was supposed to lock onto it, but now it's too late. Jesus Christ. Okay, why do they spawn like crazy? Holy shit. <laughs> they just keep respawning. Turn into one of these. Oh. I'm falling in the hole. Okay, well, I guess that gets me out of danger temporarily. Um, anyway. What's in this? I got bomb shoes, okay. Um, is this water that I can pick up? Is this fresh water? That fish is out of the damn water! Oh, it means I'm gonna have to drink my milk! What a waste of a heal. It's weird to see the fish floating above the water like that. Oh, hang on. There's bugs nearby, so let me just pour these out. Oh, floating bugs. Do we, we actually can catch a fish here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We got a fish in a bottle. You get back in there too. I just want to see if I can have this water. Nope. Can't have the water. What a shame. Nice if you could just get any kind of water. Oh god, well, okay. Jesus. Uh, do I need to jump over this with a pona? Oh my god. Why don't. Why do they just spawn endlessly? Uh, okay. Ooh, hang on. What if. What if it's not real? Is there a hole? No. Okay. Oh my god. It's gonna be like this, huh? It's gonna be like this, huh? This is up an issue. Okay. Um, can I summon a pona to ride and jump over the fence? It 
It seems a bit too high. God, uh, just blow up. Just blow up. Okay. I don't think that they should spawn this quickly. I think that's crazy. All right, so he jumped over. God damn, opponent's just tanking shots. Um, there's another boulder, but there's... Oh my god. I don't think we can actually get hit on a pony here, so that's actually working out. Nice. Oh, there's a person up there. It's like the ghost person from Ocarina. There you go. Okay. So the trick to avoiding the headache of this place is to just be on a Pona, because apparently a Pona is invincible. Which is just very funny to me. Now, I want to read this sign, but without being blown up. Come on, opponent. Move, please. Can I read this sign? The kind of graveyard ahead, okay. Hee hee! What are you doing in a place like this? A kind of hill beyond tears, the place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter, then you must obtain the mask containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Without that mask, you cannot save their souls. Until then, I will not let you pass by here. Yee -hee. Ooh. So there you go. That's good timing. I was thinking that we should try and find the uh, Icana region because of the description to this mask. I can't put the mask on yet. So I gotta do this. Hee <laughs> hee That's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader of the ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with the blood-stained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to see if there's souls that wander beyond here. Hee <laughs> hee! Okay, what does that do for me? I can't get up there from here. Why is this man acting as if I have a hook shot? Interesting. Maybe I'm supposed to have the hook shot. I love that it's like you come through this area and you're like, do I have what I need? Looking good. But no. Just getting endlessly bombed to death. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah, the graveyard. Kana graveyard. So we got some Poe Lanterns. Oh, dude, we got another, like, Grave Digger situation. Like, Dampe. Okay. It's a bad bat. Shoot and get rupees. What are you doing there, damn pay? Okay, but it's still just it's still just floating there. Do 
happens that you get rupees the first time you hit the the lantern bat. Oh, it's high, it's, uh, hanging from the tree. A vessel that holds wandering spirits rests here. Can I move this one because it's got flowers in front of it? Oh, is it you? Chase those bats away. It's a big help. Is it much? But it's 30 rupees for your trouble. Take it! All the graves here belong to family members of the King of Akana Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It's a frightening graveyard. The ghosts come out at night. Gotcha. I am Damper, the gravekeeper, who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I'm not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the King of Ikana Castle. Okay, so the ghosts come out at night. Gotcha. At night time I will not be here, my friend. I will be riding a cow into town. Peace that heals the wounded soul rests here. When one who possesses eyes that can see the truth arrives, the peace far below shall awaken. Okay, do I have to? S hmm. Okay, we'll figure it out, of course. The melody that summons the tears of angels rests here. The melody that summons the tears of angels. Okay, so we'll play a song at this one. I have truth at another. Soul of a brave soldier from Okana rests here. That's what holds wandering spirits. The soul of a brave soldier. So hang on. Mm. Trying to think if there's like ones that is like an angelic tears. I don't know if that fits the description of anything that we we have. Do you think because it's not showing up with the Showing up with the lens of truth, can I, can I blow them up? Because uh, there are some gravestones here that have been blown up. Can I play the song of healing. What's the song of healing again? Maybe the song of healing for a wandering spirit? But it's a vessel. It's a vessel that holds them. Hmm. I think we might have to come back here at night. What the fuck? Okay. Um. What is that? Oh. Huh. Does that mean every time we've been seeing those circles? of the circle of rocks, I should be putting a bomb in the middle and opening a hole in the ground? Oh my god. Um, well, hold on a minute. There was another one of those nearby. So that's what they're for. Okay, so we've got something that we can do with this skull. There's fire in this house. The door's locked, so no one must be home. Um, so your house is on fire.
the frame rate. Oh, that's funny. Um. Oh, and the hole disappears too. Uh, hang on, lens. Does the lens of truth reveal it? No. Interesting. Hold on a sec. There was another one of those. And I think in the previous area. I wonder if that's something that happens every time. I've got to conclude my business here shortly and head back to the ranch. But this was nice to at least dive into this location. I'm hoping to find a owl statue so I can just come back here. Oh, um, oh yep. Oh, wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, not every time. Not every time. Just literally the specific time where I'm like, I'll just destroy these bombs. Gotcha. Thanks, game. Um, so the ghost man has given us a way up there. However, we can't get up there. <laughs> Fuck off. The explosion should have pushed me forward, not backwards. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do the Romani Ranch stuff, and then that'll make nighttime happen. And then we can come back here and see what the ghosts are doing. Um, I guess Dampe's gonna go inside. Big old skull. Um, wake up. Oh, it's making the noise. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, well, that worked. I uh, fucked up the guy's house. Oh god. Um. Okay. You there? Oh. You there? Calm down. Yeah. Let me put on my bunny ears. Hey, Mister. I'll catch you. What's going on with the? Okay, we're being uh being gated at multiple opportunities. Where's this guy going? We've lost sight of him. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Was I supposed to get to him before he did this? If you could not even catch me, then that must be all the strength you have. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I see. So that's what I... If I caught him, I would get a chest. Can I go again, sir? <laughs> I fuck it up? Damn it. I fucked it up. Okay. Can't redo it. Don't bother me. Soon a whole lot of frightful ghosts will appear. You should go home too before you get attacked. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, um, let's do the song of soaring and uh, we shall go to the ranch. We'll just have to come back here. Maybe it'll reset the next day or at nighttime or something. Who knows? Um, but we'll have to make this journey with Epona again because 
I did not find an owl statue just yet. But we found some new things. It's pretty fun though. Night time. Oh. And Kremia and Romani are both not in the barn anymore. Where are you? There we go. <laughs> I'm coming. Look at that mule. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like for a ride? Yes. Let's go for that ride. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. A welcome company. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things haven't been great. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere, and... Oh, God. My sister Romani has been worried, too. She's been practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? That dialogue is moving way too quickly for me to speak it out loud. <laughs> I didn't realize I couldn't just click off of it. In town, I have a friend. Her name's Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. Interesting. I wonder if it'll fall. That thing. Yeah, it's well on its way, babe. Sorry. That's nice. Do you think it's too late to buy the, the map to the Romani Ranch at this point from Tingle? I would say so. <laughs> it's pretty funny that I'm like, where do we get a map? And I totally forgot that Tingle's just like levitating outside. Just waiting to give me a map of the place. Yeah. <laughs> what? The road. Boy, get your bow ready. Oh, shit. So... Suspicious Gorman Brothers time. They're gonna fuck with our milk shit again. Then we've been filtered into a side road. That's what their event is in the notebook as well, isn't it? It's this. Yep. <laughs> First milk road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Okay. You ready, boy? I'm gonna try and get us through here as fast as I can. I have a name. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. Oh my god, they may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Fuck. Do you understand? Yes. Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Oh look, pursuers. Oh man. Look at them. Oh, you guys don't even sound, uh... Whoa, 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 Get out of here! Oh my god, we're like... Oh! God. Damn, look at these masks they were. Come on, guys, you're a little bit terrifying. Thank god we have infinite arrows here, though. Auto. Let's go. Let's go, Link. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thieves in the night. Raiding our goddamn milk delivery. God, thank you. 
you go. Sometimes I can do it first try, can't I? Unlike the stupid cow abduction. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Oh god, a cow mask. You got Romani's... Oh... Right on. You got Romani's mask. Wear it with C to show you're a member of the milk bar. Not what I expected. I thought I'd have like an actual membership card. <laughs> By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. Oh my god. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. <laughs> Oh, uh, the, the Zelda world is just, it's such a simple place. Look, you did a good deed. Therefore, you're an adult. Here's a cow mask. Have fun. Hell yes. Okay, we can now get into the milk bar. <laughs> I was thinking we would have to personally deliver the milk and then we would get like a, like a card. Because like if we look in the inventory, this section, we've I've only seen us get... I think we've got the title deed, the, the land deed, the room key, and I don't know what the third one was. So I was thinking that would end up being like milk bar membership. Turns out it is a mask, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, but it's done now. And that's open uh, from 10 p.m. Uh, so I, I guess we can do that. Now that I've done that, though, and it's night time, I want to go back into Icana Valley. So let's go in the town. Let's check out what happens if we go into the milk bar. Um, let's put the mask on. <laughs> Doing well with the mask collection. Ah, yes, you remember. I'm sorry, but the bar opens at 10 at night. I'm getting things ready now. If you just want to talk, I'll let you stay. I don't think I need to explain this, but we're called a milk bar, and we serve the milk of the night. Our most popular, of course, is Chateau Romani. It's a vintage milk. It comes from Romani Ranch, and the current price is 200 rupees. You're not surprised. There is one more surprising thing about this milk. It depends on who you ask, but there are those who consider this milk as a source of magic power. It just takes one gulp, they say. It's expensive, but thankfully it's the one we serve the most. Last night, we got some fresh milk in for the first time in quite a while. Finally, we can feel good about our drink's quality again. But that moon! Our regular customers have all fled, so there isn't, there isn't really any good news. Okay, so there you go. There's the milk. So 200 rupees to restore your magic power. May as well just get those potions. Um, Alright, well at 10pm I guess we can see what all the fuss is about there. The canyon at Stone Tower lies that way. It's dangerous at night. The canyon at Stone Tower. Well, that's where we're going. Remember, a bonus song. All right, we'll make this a much smoother ride this time, and let's go and see. Let's go and see what's going on in the graveyard. A cow riding a horse. Now I really have seen everything. Oh, it's so much nicer to travel here at night time. I'm not, I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not being assaulted by bomb chews. Very nice, okay. I've been slowed. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, 
their enemies. You've been jinxed? I can't draw my sword. Oh. Awesome. I'm hanging from there. Okay, so how long am I jinxed for by getting hit by that ghost? And they're circling the Lens of Truth grave. I just have to defeat them. How long am I jinxed for? This is a little bit fucking strange, okay. I can use my bow though. No longer jinxed. There we go. Took a long time. You just get. Okay, so they just come back, but they're circling this grave. Doesn't help. They still, they still don't like me. It's a stall child. They were the cursed soldiers of the kingdom of Icana. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know. I thought this mask might help. It does not. Oh, there we go. We get another opportunity. So he's back. We can try this again. Okay. So I got to take out these enemies much faster. I didn't realize there was such a sense of urgency the first time. Should I wear this for them or this one? I'm wondering if I should wear this mask. Get awoken. We're going to try this again. Okay, now hurry up. Kill these and we got to catch up to the guy. Get such a head start. Okay, that's not how we get off to a good start by getting hit by the flame. I can't even see him. I'm not going to make it again. God. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay. He's, always, he's even walking with slowed down time because the time's slower. What the fuck? You've got to be really, really quick. I'm hoping that you can just leave the area and come back and it resets. We can try again. Okay, we'll try the bunny mask and get him. Tattle is locking on. So chase him until you get your chance at him, but if you get too close, you might regret it. Until I get my chance at him. Okay, well, we can shoot him. I guess we want to just shoot at him. And then that's us getting our chance at him? Do we want to, like, catch up to him and, like, stop him properly? How are we doing this? So we just want to... we want to... Okay. 
Oh, we're in. Oh, God. well, we're fighting now. So I guess we. I guess we're regretting it. I'm fighting you. Oh. This, uh, this camera angle was something. What the f- oh god, okay. Oh, Jesus. Is this the we might regret it part? Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Can can we win? Can we win? We can, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, it is my loss. She's your weapon. Okay. <laughs> and here I thought we just had to uh, race them to the finish line. I didn't think we had to actually catch up to them and fight them, so that was the reason for our previous losses. I commanded the Akana army of Akana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skull Keeter. Since being shamed by a loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me with the bunny ears of legend. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who even in death remain loyal to me. Tell them the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir, may I take leave, sir? Okay, we did it. And of course, we failed to make that jump. Because uh, I should probably have gotten a little bit more of a gap to do a run-up for a roll. Let's just do that again. Bunny is now anticlimactic. And... Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. Fuck me, I guess. Um... There seems to be this interesting pattern about me, which is uh, apparently I'll jump or ascend something first try, and then on the consecutive tries, I'll be like, how did I do that? Like on the north side of on the north side of town, I went up that slide and then I struggle to go up there now. Uh, <laughs> Same way, I'm gonna do this. I thought maybe maybe I should take the maybe the bunny ears are fucking me up. Wait, I, it's not doing it's not doing the actual roll jump animation. That's all right. We'll just we'll just keep trying, I suppose. Myself, I guess. I know that it's possible. I literally did it first try.
just go over there instead. There you go. That feels a lot better to make that jump. So we made the jump the first try the harder way, apparently, um, and that way was much easier. <laughs> you got the captain's hat. The ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to this symbol of authority. There we go. Another mask. So we can pose as the captain now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Alright, so now we can go to the soldiers and then they they shouldn't attack us anymore. All hearts. All hearts, baby. Stand down, men! Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, excuse me, sir. Everyone give the captain your attention! We haven't seen you in some time, Captain Sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Open the grave. Open it? Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me! Ah. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, everyone. I was like, oh, a grave that is like, ooh, eyes of truth. And I, I said, yeah, you know what we need? Uh, three skeletons to destroy it. That's definitely how I thought that was going to go. No! no! I didn't mean to attack you. <laughs> okay. I meant to speak to you. I killed one. Huh? Oh, Captain, excuse me, sir. Oh. Dismissed. Where did this fire come from? Okay. So I can only speak to the ones guarding this grave. And now we can go in! Uh, I guess... Ooh, beneath the graveyard. I guess now I need the Eye of Truth. Oh, there you go. Aha! Here we go. What? Do you know about these keys? Invisible keys. Invisible keys. Oh god, invisible. Sets the enemies in the room. Yay. My favorite. Let's reset all those enemies. So there's one around here somewhere. I was getting that close. Okay. Be gone with you. room. Oh, gee. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Wow. 
Party time. You know about the Iron Knuckle, right? Stay away from insects attack and look for a chance to retaliate. Oh. I'm supposed to drop that at its feet. Never mind. It's just gonna get me killed. That was stupid. Um okay, the fairy is there for us if we need it. I'm gonna take a drink. And if only I had the Master Sword right now, that'd be great. I just feel like we gotta break through the its armor first though, right? Okay, do not try and block the axe attack. Nice. Okay, there you go. Yep. Does it get stunned now? I can't remember. Yeah. It gets, uh... It gets staggered. Nice. Oh, I can see. I saw the skin of the of the Gerudo. No, yeah. What do we get? What do we get? Yay! Okay, I got a piece of heart. Lovely. Is that it? Guess that's a good little reward. Thank you for your time. Uh, we're now good. Oh man. Now I gotta go. What if we. What if we just. left? Why do I keep forgetting my. There you go. What if we just left, actually? What if I just went away? I'm going back. Um, okay. Now, thinking about the, the graveyard, we still need to do something with that mask of the ninjas, but then speaking to that guy gave us, like, a platform that it looks like we should be able to, like, hook shot to, but we don't have a hook shot. Uh, I don't think we're able to get up there by any other means. So we might have to might have to come back for that one. I remember when we were speaking to the blacksmith in the mountain village, he said that there was a way for us to upgrade our sword temporarily, and then a way for us to upgrade our sword um, permanently. But I think we need we're on day two, I think, so I think we need a little bit more time to do that. Um We've finished with the milk questline stuff now, which is good. We're finished with the Gorman brothers, I think. Let's go to Clock Town. And then I wanted to have a look at the journal. See what we can do. Because I might even go back to watching Anju and Cafe and see what we can see what we can do there. So if you look at the notebook... I think that the event at 6 on the final day is related to Cafe going after the guy that's stolen the mask. That's done. That's done. Gorman Brothers are done, save the milk, so that's completed. Look at all these completions. Um. It looks like we have time to go to the milk bar. 
which is where Gorman is at the moment. Because it's open from 10 p.m. So that gives us something to do. This is going to be our first time being able to go in here. When it's actually properly open. I'm wearing the cow, now let me in. Ah, you remember, please come in. Damn right I am. Alright, who's in here? Aha, there he is. Okay, so they're both in here. Oh, he's, he is drowning them sorrows. Welcome. We've got some good milk in tonight. Would you like some Romani for your final moon viewing? Have a drink. Members of this club bring their own glasses. We ask you have an empty bottle to drink out of when you order. Oh. I can't buy one and get a bottle. Hey, you. Milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from saying like milk? <laughs> Apparently so. When they're putting milk in a place of alcohol in this game. Don't look at me. Anyway, I'm just the spy's second son. I can't handle horses like my older brother. I can't take care of horses like my younger brother. I left the ranch, came to know the world of show business, traveled around, but for what? <laughs> for nothing. Oh, I just had to enter the world of entertainment tonight. It's cold, so cold. What do we have to do for this guy? We were scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you! Could you help me with a performance? Yes. You betcha. Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. What's going on here then? Okay, that feels good. What feels good, that wretched, senseless racket? Okay. Could you help me with a performance? Oh. Wait a minute, what's happening here? There's four spotlights and we're being asked to stand in the other one. Uh, we have different instruments for the other ones. Uh, if there's another three spotlights, that means we might... Gonna, we're probably going to need this one. What about now? Attack, yeah, okay. Oh, that's too bad. Let's see. Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand in the front left spotlight. No. Okay. <coughs> We've got to come to this guy with... Uh... Ah, okay. I'm in two places at once. Mm. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? Uh, right on. So I have to do all of them. But I'm missing one. I'm missing one! Okay, you play the drums, right? You stand on the rear left spotlight. Okay, play your drums like this. Look at all of us together. Look at the link band. All right, there's one more that we need. So this will help us figure out this guy's stuff. That feels good. And then that might help this guy out, apparently, and he'll be like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then he'll stop being depressed. Um, so we'll see, I guess. 
we've at least been able to figure out how to get in here. We've finally got that. And then it looks like we can sort them both out together, which is great. I feel like we should try and do Cafe's thing. So Cafe's going to try and go after the thief on the final day. And then there's something with the curiosity shop owner on the final day too after that. Uh, I'll be curious about trying that out. And then considering we need another mask, we'll head out in another direction. Uh, considering that we have a Deku one and a Goron one, that I was thinking that we might end up having a, a Zora one. So I guess we'll we'll go out to the west because underneath the fog it looks a bit more blue, it looks a bit more watery. There is some water over in this direction, but it looks much more watery under the fog that way. So I think we'll check out the west. Then we can come back to the Akana Canyon space. Maybe we'll finally have a hook shot, and we can go up onto that thing with the ninja mask, which we're just like seeing how everything is kind of like connecting through all these places. We need one more basic song and then two other songs, two other temples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of this optional masks. And then I don't know what that one is. Um, considering it, these are usually the important masks, I mean, this could even end up being the Majora's Mask. It could be the final one to sit there. Or maybe it's tied to the Ikana direction. Who knows? We'll find out when we get there. But exciting nonetheless. Uh, we'll let the, we'll let the days go. And, uh, we're going to, in the final day, uh, see what Cafe is going to do. I think that will just require us basically watching the back of the curiosity shop door at the laundry pool like a hawk for when Cafe decides to leave. Looking at our schedule here and being like, oh, we'll just go to the third day and see what Cafe is doing. I think we actually have to go through that quest line from the beginning because there'll be a whole thing with a pendant which we haven't actually done in this loop in order for any of this to work. I'm not sure how it's going to also tie in with uh, the thief in general if we have to keep track of him and try and uh, follow him in the direction that he goes, because I still haven't been able to figure that out. Um, so I might try and reset the loop and then do the things I've already done. However, I want to see where this guy comes from before he steals the the bomb bag. He might enter town from the north. So I, I, think, I think that could uh, be a really key part of this as well. That would certainly help. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the song. We are going to play the song of time and we're going to go back to, to day one. And uh, we'll deposit our rupees before we do that. Because we've actually, we're actually holding on to a substantial amount this time. Uh, and then we'll begin again. Because uh, I, I want to see what we can do about this cafe and Anju situation. And then the, the next episode will be heading out to another main location for sure. Right, so let's deposit these. Take them! Wow, a total of 200. <laughs> Here's your special gift. Oh, nice. I got more rupees, okay. <laughs> Instead of getting a wallet upgrade. Uh... Depositing exactly enough to get to 200 is pretty funny. Well, may as well take these five as well. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to reset. And 
Uh, of course, I've played the inverted one because I keep playing that one too often, don't I? Until it... I keep having to play it three times. Like, it's not... <laughs> it's not acknowledging the first round of pressing of the buttons. Okay, back to the beginning. Let's follow the letters. We've already seen the flow here in regards to Anju and Cafe's questline, so no need for us to uh, repeat it. We'll just sort of skip to the necessary areas, uh, and then we'll see how we go with our, our thief in the night as well. While we're passing the time, I feel like we should do the postman schedule and see if we can get 10 seconds again. I want to see if we can do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten twenty-two. Almost. That was a close one. Nothing. Just talking to myself. I was like, I started counting the seconds, and I realized I was like two seconds behind, and I'm like, I have to account for that. <laughs> And I got 10. Okay. Oh, it's it's free for the first time only. Two rupees, huh? We only got six. Let's try again. So press A to start. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got it! The time was 10 seconds! Oh my god, on the dot! Oh my god, second try. Let's get it, baby! 10 seconds! That is amazing! You have reflexes suitable for a postman! I do have the hat for it. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this! Oh man, all of that for a piece of heart. <laughs> I can't be like this, I have to train more. More! You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. God damn, all right. Um, was that what we had to do here? It was, okay. Which means the postman's quest line has been completed. There you go, we got another ribbon. I'm currently just waiting until 11.30 at night to hang out with Anju in the kitchen. I thought I would follow the postman around, see if we could do that. And we did. Fuck. Oh! What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? P -p -p paper, please! Press start to open the item screen. Oh my. Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. Why does a giant hand. Oh! Why does a giant hand come out of the toilet? Why does it look like that? Why can't I just give him the paper that is on the ground? Letter the cafe is our third item that goes there, isn't it? Instead of the, we got the uh, the title deed, the room key, and then the letter to cafe. I'm not giving, I'm not giving the letter to cafe to this fucking thing. Why? Why is there a hand in the toilet? Person living in the inn's restroom. Looks like we can do that at night three times. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to ignore that for now. I need that letter. Um, Jesus Christ. There's so much paper around that you can't pick up, so of course it has to be a silly little item. Um, we could get the land deed. Hold on a sec. No. Let me slow down time so I can stay during night time. We can get a tear from the moon, get the land deed from that guy. 
and then that counts as paper, right? So I suppose that we've missed our opportunity to see this thing multiple times, because when we've come to see Anju in the kitchen at this time, we would have seen this ages ago if we just popped our head in the random oh. pan toilet. Here you go. Here's paper. Yay! Yay! Ho! Oh, you saved me! So, um... Flush's toilet? This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Oh my god. Okay. You helped question mark out of a jam. So this is this a guy that fell in the toilet and needs to wipe his butt? And then wiped his butt? And then Did we do that? Okay, that's done now. Very good. So glad I ticked that off my to-do list. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that's done. Time for us to post this letter and continue on with the cafe side quest. I've been waiting outside this room for the hopeful chance that cafe would leave it, but he hasn't, God damn it! It's just this guy. So he, the green hat kid, he says he wants you to take this to his mother, and this is the priority mail, so I can deliver it myself to the milk bar. A customer came to my shop last night, now Cafe sees him, and Cafe's color just changes and he was running after the guy. Now, I also waited outside the store and saw him come in and leave, and he leaves Clock Town. But I can't even track him. He doesn't walk out of the town where I can follow him, so uh, I have no idea which direction he's gone. But Cafe's gone after him. A greedy thief named Sarkon. Alright, I need to remember his name's Sarkon. We've heard that before because we've done this before. This is where we get the Keaton mask. I think he's from Ikana Village. Okay, so he's off in the direction of Ikana Village. Um, okay. So that's something that we needed because um, I forgot about his name and I also forgot... Uh, the direction that he came from. Because I was like, did he come from the mountain village? But no, it's uh, so it's from Ikana village. So I guess we can head in that direction. And so that'll be where Cafe is now. And then the curiosity shop guy has something after this too. Um, very curious. So we can now go and deliver this letter. But I think we could deliver the letter after the cafe thing because her thing is much longer. So we're also going to play the... It's uh, a weird camera angle. Um, we're going to play <laughs> the slowdown time. We're going to slow time. Okay. So he must be in the direction of the Ikana village. Uh, so that's where we're going to have to go. So um, I guess with, with that in mind, we'll also be able to track Sarkon, or at least head in that direction if we fail today. Um, but obviously we've heard that information before. Sadly, uh, that was information that I had neglected to write down at the time. Okay, um, Pona is right here. In the direction of Okana Village, here we go. So we're gonna keep an eye out for Cafe here. Here somewhere. Hmm. Damn it. Yes, I get it. Come on. So this dude's up here. And he's like, what are you doing in a place like this? Ikana Hill beyond here is a place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. And 
and then if we have the mask, we'll be able to get through. And then there's the graveyard here, but the, this graveyard goes to just one house, it doesn't necessarily go to a village. I guess this is, this is all I have to go off. Oh great, now I've been jinxed. Guards are at a they're at a different place this time. Hold on. Oh! Ah, Captain, excuse me. Yeah, interesting. The um They're at a different grave each day. So now they'll open up this one. seem like a village, you know? It doesn't really seem like a village where this Sarkon guy would be. Um, what is this though? Jesus, is this the village? This is, this place is huge. Is there a village underneath the graveyard? <laughs> oh god, it's one of those things. Oh god, it's one of those things. Okay. There's a... Hang on. Where are we? Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh, there you go. Interesting. So that grave actually takes you up into the, the house. But no one that I could see in there. So does that mean the, the Arcana village must be past the canyon so I must be I have to get up there to see where cafe is gone so <laughs> cafe must have a hookshot to get up there I don't hmm. so it seems like we are probably not going to be able to follow him at this point until I there's, there's something else that I need sadly but this is a new location, so on day three we're able to go down here and uh, there's dirt mounds. Um, let's see if I can do anything with that. Can I? Can I sniff shit out? <laughs> this. I've never used this before to any success, so I don't actually know. Um, maybe I can put a bomb here. Oh god, I make pig noises when I get hurt. Um, don't think that did anything. God, so I'm getting attacked by those. Can I bounce on these? These are pressure plates. Oh! Jesus, I didn't even see you the first time. Hold on, I didn't even see you here. You, who are you? Can't see because it's too bright. You're not a ghost, are you? A fairy? Oh, it's the fairy's light. In that case, just perfect. I came looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch has gone out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of me and light the way? Please? Uh, it will. In that case, I'll use your light as I walk. Just lead me to the place where you think the treasure chest is buried. I'll even split the treasure with you. I'm counting on you now. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to lead him... This, and then... Okay. I was going to roll out of the way, but I, uh... I fucked it up. Why does there have to be one of those in here? <laughs> You're not walking to where I want you to be, bro. Come on. Let's just try this one. 
Let's just try this one. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Yes. Ooh. There's something strange here, but there's any treasure. Show me another spot. Okay. Right, let me get rid of that thing. Alright. And... Hey, where'd you go? We should walk a little slower. Come on here, then. We'll try this. Well, considering we can't get uh, to an Icana village in good time in this small slither of time on the journal, we'll just do this. Ooh. Uh, strange, but no treasure. All right, how do we get you up the ladder? Can't you just give me, give me a shovel, will you, sir? Give me a blade shovel. How are we going to get him up the ladder? Something strange about this spot. Ooh. Nothing. Okay. Um. Hmm. What's the deal? No. What's the deal with this pressure scenario? I assume even having the fire must be for some purpose, right? Bro, please. Bro, please. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You think if I put him on a pressure plate Ooh. that, um, and I go on the other one, then something will happen? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Oh! Is that gonna take him up here? I didn't think that was gonna happen. I just wanted to see if I could go onto the other... I just wanted to see if I could go into the other one and something would happen, but it turns out this is actually a lift. So this is how you get them to this section. Gotcha. Alright. And then there's one over the other side there that I can see. Okay, more goddamn flame. Oh! Three flame makes ghost. Okay. And he runs away. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well then. Uh, if you, this is like a three three tries and you're out scenario. Gotcha. Will he come back? Is it randomized each time? Who knows? What if the treasure will be randomized each time? Won't that be fun? Okay, we can't hit him during that. Which means the only one that we didn't try was the, uh, was the last one. But of course. Okay. Okay, you coming back? Oh! Ooh! Was the treasure actually this all along? Oh my god, I got a bottle, yes! Haha! The royal treasure was a bottle. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure about this final spot. Is uh. Oh. Because Dampe has run away. But we did get a bottle, and it came out of a big chest. I, I would like to say that that's my, uh, board. Where's that laughter coming from? And then there's two other platforms that I don't know what to do with either. 
A lot of rupees for us to deposit into the bank. Um, I'm going to just go back down and we'll see if Dampe is there for some more digging. Oh, this thing's still here, I'll tell you that much. Out of here. He's gone. All right. What do we do with these then? They look like their flames can be lit. So if I shoot them with a fire arrow, will something happen? If I put a bomb on them, will something happen? Something will have to be done at some point. I think what we should go and do now is uh, we'll deliver the letter. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing. What the fuck? Oh, is that Dampe hiding under the bed? Get out from under there. Get out from under there. Okay, so he's just gonna hide under the bed. Fucking hell. So, what, what I'll be doing is we'll definitely make sure that we have the, the note for uh, Sarkon Ikana Village is where he is. So that is sadly information that we had that I forgot about. But we have gotten some good stuff out of this regardless. Uh, we'll now go and deliver the note ourselves. Uh, we'll go to the milk bar. We shall go to the milk bar and see who's there on the final day without having to give this to the postman because um, we've already done that for the postman and then we got given the uh, the postman's hat as a result. Uh, maybe we can see what's going on between Anju and Cafe, but I don't think so because it looks like we'll have to do uh, whatever's going on uh, here before we get to their final ones. But we've given the pendant to Anju, which means that they're supposed to meet and hang out and have a good time. So it looks like you have to go through their whole thing. It's just a bit annoying that you can't seem to track Sarkon to where he's uh, supposedly hanging out. Alright, remember, the final night in the milk bar. Who's in here? Just the... Just you, huh? Okay. As you can see, all of our customers have taken refuge. It may be my undoing, but I'm the sort of fellow who stay at his business through thick, thick and thin. As I continue standing here at the counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. And I wasn't wrong. See, you stopped in. Oh, and now I can uh, fill up my empty bottle with some regular milk or the chateau for 200 rupees. So the chateau is for magic power. I think I will leave that alone. Sweet to you. Oh dear, you all right with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too. Far away. Okay, well I've got this for you. Interesting. I can't be the one to give it to her. Hmm. What if I'm wearing the postman's hat? I thought that we would be able to give it to her ourselves if we were in here. I guess we could try the cafe mask as well. You're the one searching for Cafe. How is it? Have you found him? Aha! 
and then I can deliver the letter. Oh dear, priority mail. This, it's from Cafe, correct, correct? Wonderful, you really are an expert. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, yes, it is your job after all. Oh, yo, we got another bottle. We got Chateau Romani. Drink it to replenish your magic power. The drink even boosts your magic stamina. Swirl it around with your tongue to enjoy its flavor to the fullest. Yay, we delivered a sudden sentiment to his mother. This was added to your notebook. Very good. I'm sorry. At this point in time, I can give you only something like this. Actually, I wanted to give this to you sooner. Really? Nice. Okay, so it was the cafe mask we needed to wear to deliver the letter uh, ourselves. Um, which has also now ticked her off and completed her storyline. So, priority mail delivered. Very good. And now we have another bottle. We went from having one to four real quick. So, it will get lasting stamina for our magic power. Um, maybe I'll deliver that, uh, to drink that when I need to use a lot of magic in one go. Um, but now uh, it's time for us to go and deposit these rupees into the bank and bring this episode of Majora's Mask to a close. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you have had a good time with this one uh, as I have. This has been a very good episode. We've uh, tried to do, uh, tried to touch base with uh, the cafe quest line again. Uh, and been able to get some information that we had been given to us previously but forgot to write down which is good so that we definitely have that now uh, and we also need to see how we can progress that quest line on day three but I think uh, we definitely need some items that we don't have yet so we're going to be heading to the west um, next episode and uh, hopefully that will give us new items new masks uh, that can that can help us out uh, so let's uh, deposit these rupees and that'll be it for today's episode. So thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Next time we'll get back on track for some of the some of the main quests, which will allow us to hopefully then in turn progress some more side quests. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.